Greetings to you all and a happy International Women's Day. As the Pacific joins global celebrations today, we reflect on progress made towards advancing gender equality and empowering women and girls. These are fundamental pillars for sustainable development and without their full realization, meeting the SDGs is simply impossible. It is commendable to see Pacific governments, civil society, private sector and faith-based communities boosting their effort to advance gender equality and women's empowerment. There have been regional and national commitments made through the Pacific Leaders Gender Equality Declaration, the Pacific Platform for Action for Gender Equality and Women's Human Rights and through the 2050 Blue Pacific Strategy. While we have reason to celebrate progress today, especially here in the Pacific, we also know there is a long way to go to achieve full gender equality. This year's theme focuses on women's economic empowerment. It is a reminder that financial investment in women remains low, with economic structures pushing more women into poverty. Globally, one in every 10 women live in extreme poverty. If this trend does not change, over 340 million women and girls will still live in extreme poverty by 2030. We see gender inequality persisting across the Pacific with disparities in access to opportunities, employment, political and social participation. As we consider this year's theme of women's economic empowerment, we are reminded that in most of the Pacific, women perform a greater share of unpaid care and domestic work and are overrepresented in the informal economy. Institutions, systems and structures often restrict women's economic opportunities, while gender roles and status can limit women's voices and choices when it comes to household and community decisions. Participating in economic activities allows women to create positive changes in their own lives and communities, which in turn translates into positive effects across the region as a whole. Advancing women's economic empowerment underpins the success of all the SDGs. That is what makes this year's theme so important. Pacific populations are largely rural and rely greatly on subsistence activities. Women, especially, are heavily involved in informal economic activities. Women perform a greater share of food growing and inshore fishing activities, unpaid care and domestic work, and they dominate small-scale market operations. Between 75 and 90 percent of all market vendors in the Pacific are women. Hours are long, profits are often low, and working conditions are difficult. Despite this, women are often excluded from market governance and decision making. To this end, the United Nations works to support women market vendors in a number of Pacific countries, such as Fiji, the Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. We support rural and urban market vendors to be recognized for their important role in their national economies and to national food security efforts. We provide women market vendors with the opportunity to benefit from capacity building, in-business financial management, digital literacy, value addition and customer service. Women market vendors are also supported to establish and strengthen the representative bodies for market vendors and supported to influence policies and bylaws governing their market spaces. There's also capacity building support provided for local government and market administrators on the implementation of gender responsive policies and strategies. And finally, work is also being carried out in the area of digitalization to bridge the digital divide through enhancing the policy environment for entrepreneurship and business development, including for youth and women. Today is an important reminder that we each have a role to play to support the rights and opportunities of women and girls. Today, let us reaffirm our commitment to advancing gender equality and women's empowerment across the Pacific.